I'm going to be showing you how to complete the full Bloxburg quest from day one until day seven in order to unlock the Bloxburg Haunted Mansion and also the new Bloxburg Halloween trophy. First thing you're going to want to do, get to this Plenty of Pumpkin Orchard and walk over to the Halloween Haunted House. We're going to walk up to the door and if you press E, it says the door is locked. Talk to Sabrina the Witch at her snack stand and maybe she knows more about this old house. So the next thing we have to do is head over to Sabrina's stand. It should be just around the corner over here. We're gonna press E and press talk. She's gonna end up telling us that we need to find a book of potions because we need to get inside of that haunted house, but there are ghosts in there. So now follow me to find where the book is located. Go around to this side of the barn, use these haystacks to get on top of this door and go through here. Next, just press W and walk fully straight until you see the book lying on the haystack. Once you got the book, make sure to jump out of the barn and head back to Sabrina to give it to her. She will tell you she needs time to translate the book and in the meantime to try making some potions. First off, we're going to want to go over to Sabrina and talk to her. She said she found the recipe we needed, but she's going to need our help brewing it. She asks us to make a potion consisting of something weightless. And I know exactly what we need. We are going to be needing a party balloon. If you have the balloon locked, just go over to the barn, go up to these balloons and equipped one. Now it should easily be unlocked. Let's go back to the quadrant and put it inside. We should get a green potion and it should be sparkling yellow. That means we are on the right path. Now let's go ahead and give it to Sabrina. This is the potion of levitation. It is the first effect we need. Then she goes ahead to ask us to brew her a potion using something loud. For this, all we need to do is equip the power drill and put it inside of the cauldron. We should receive an orange glowing potion and it should be glowing yellow. Now go back over to Sabrina. Let's talk to her. And she would say, wow, a potion of haunting. That is the correct potion, but the mixture is not what I expected. It feels like something is wrong. I will need to investigate further. Let's go up to Sabrina and talk to her. Welcome back. I believe I might have found the problem. I seem to have made an error in my translation of the cryptic language. I'm not familiar with these particular symbols. I need you to bring me a decipher book from the city hall to help me make the correct translation. So now let's go to the city hall. The city hall is right in the center of the town so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Once you're inside the Bloxburg city hall, go inside and turn to the left. Go through this doorway and over here, the second to last bookshelf, there should be a glowing book. The book says Deciphering Ancient Code. Let's press on it, take it, and let's bring it back to Sabrina. We are back at the Plenty of Pumpkins Orchard, and now we just have to go to Sabrina's stand, which should be easily around the corner. Now let's talk with her again and see what she says. Thank you. I will start translating that page again. But we need to go ahead and speak with Sabrina. So it says here for the next potion, we need something bright. Can you brew? that potion for me so what we're gonna have to do is go into our backpack and search for the candle once we have it equipped to put it inside the quadrant in order to make a bright potion and it should be glowing yellow this only means that the potion is correct and now let's give it to sabrina this is a pretty mixture i believe that this is the potion of ghost vision let's try adding them together and they're mixing now for the final one oh no that's not good the final page is missing i will look for some information on where to find it come see me again later and hopefully i will have this all figured out as always we're going to have to talk to sabrina first she says so i spoke to my friend suzanne and she says that alan has caught something fishy he is a fisherman by the ferris wheel go to him and see what you can find so it looks like we have to go to the Ferris wheel. Once you've arrived, let's jump out of our car and talk to Alan. All right, mate, what you want? Once you speak with him, there should be a glowing piece of paper. Press E to pick it up and now let's bring it back to Sabrina. Go give it to her and she should say, let's see, it fits. Apparently Alan fished it up from the river. Thanks for bringing it. Now I need some time to translate this. We have to go over to Sabrina and talk with her. 
Hi again, the translation is done. For our final potion, it says here to add something to see through. Huh, I wonder what that means. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So let's go behind our stand and to the quadrant. Here, you're going to have to search for the item in your backpack with glasses. If your glasses are locked, you're going to have to go into build mode, place them down, get them out of build mode, equip them, and that's how you unlock them. Let's get these glasses and put it inside of the mixture. Here, we should get a glowing potion. Speak with Sabrina again, and she should say, you did it, the ghastly potion. That's the final piece. Now we need to mix them all together. This is a delicate process, so I will take care of the rest. See me later, and I should have the potion done by then. We are going to want to go and talk to Sabrina. It's finally finished. Here, take it. This is the phantom perception potion. This should allow you to see ghosts. Hopefully, I have not done something like that before. That was fun. Drink this, then go and find the owner of the house. And it should give us a bottle of a potion. We're going to want to pick up this potion, drink it, and this should allow us to see a ghost. Now walk back here, and here she is, the ghost herself. Let's approach her and talk to her. Art thou able to see me? I am Helen, the mistress of this mansion. I remain bound to this earthly realm, weighed down by an instormable burden of remorse. What keeps your spirit attached to this world? It is a tale of heartache and regret that binds me here. In life, I could not convince my dearest husband that my passing was not his doing nor his fault. Can I help? Oh, kind soul, the burden of my remorse lies within a keepsake, a cherished relic that links our hearts. It holds the key to my release, for within lies the truth I long to convey. Where do I find it? It lies within the mansion. To gain entry, thou must acquire a key that has it buried alongside me. Seek it in the city's graveyard if thou wishes to lend a hand. So it looks like we now have to go to the graveyard. The graveyard should be in town right near the Ferris wheel. So let's go over here. And what we have to do is first equip a shovel. So use your backpack, press equipped, and we now have our shovel. Now go up to the grave with the little witch's hat and we have to dig it up. Here we should have a skeleton pop out. And here is Helen's ghost coming out. And here is a key floating above her grave. So let's pick it up. And now we have to bring it back to Helen. Now what we're going to want to do is talk to her and give the key. Hee hee hee, I do apologize if moving my skeleton caused thee any fright. It was a not but a jest, I assure you. It was you in the graveyard? I, if thou hadst lived as long as I, thou wouldst find it thyself bored. Nevertheless, thou dost possesses the key and thus thou art granted entrance into the mansion. <gasps> we are going to go inside the mansion now with this key look oh my goodness okay let's open it up and see <gasps> here we are inside of the mansion it has an art room over here some statues paintings then here is the dining room and if we open this door it should bring us to a piano room and then open this door and here we are in the living room and we fall through a trap door and now we are inside of a maze so with this maze what you're going to want to do is follow these candle lights you see how this wall doesn't have any lights because it is the wrong way so let's follow these lights and see where it guides us The first room that we should get to is lit with this candle and here is a kitchen with the skeletons and the zombies. Now continue following me to see where we should go. Here are the lights once again, and now let's continue finding them. You should find an, an animatronic spider, but there is a light here, meaning that we're going the correct way. Here we are in now a different kitchen. This means that we're almost there. Now we should encounter a pitch 
dark black room, but there is one candle over here. Continue following them until you are granted by a staircase. If you follow to how I got here, it should be pretty easy. So now let's go up this staircase and it should bring us to the top of the mansion. Once you're in this library room, go into the bedroom and over here should be a glowing necklace. As you can see, it's on top of the painting and it is Helen and Victor, her husband. What we're gonna have to do is take it and bring it back to Helen. So just use this door and you could literally just jump on top of their house. <laughs> Helen, I have your necklace! Though has returned! I found this locket on the top floor hidden away. I believe it might be yours. It is indeed so. Make your way to the fairy ring situated on the other side of the mansion. The ritual circle therein should grant me the means to communicate with my dear husband. This means that we're gonna reunite both Helen and her husband. Let's go. And the ring should be on the opposite side right over here like she said. Once we are here, the locket should be floating on top of this ring. What we're going to want to do is press E and there is Helen and her dearest husband. Victor, is it truly though? Helen, yes it is indeed, but I, Helen, why could I not find thee in the afterlife? I miss thee terribly. Oh, this is all my fault. The last experiment, I never should have suggested it. I never intended for such tragedy to befall thee. Had I not asked for thy help, though, wouldst have remained by my side for longer. My dearest Victor, thou art the wisest man I ever knew. Yet sometimes thy head is like an empty cauldron. Not her roasting him. It is not thy blame to bear. I join thee upon the path of sorcery and knowledge of my very own volition. Where I carry regrets that would not be one of them. I pray that within thyself thou shalt discover the strength to grant thyself forgiveness so that we might finally be together once more. My dearest Helen, if only I had understood, no matter I shall find solace in our reunion. Though it will a challenging endeavor, I shall exert every effort to extend forgiveness unto myself. Though, kind soul, I offer thee my deepest gratitude for thy deliverant aid. I shall eternally hold my kindness in my heart. And here we have granted a new hunting quest trophy. Now I may find solace knowing that my husband hath forgiven himself. Farewell. And that is how you complete the Bloxburg Halloween quest. Make sure to subscribe or else I will be the one haunting you. <laughs>